This is a time, brothers and sisters, for warfare, for praise. Praise. Let's put it this way. When we worship the Lord, we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. We are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. We go into the Holy of Holies and the devil can't go there with us. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into him and they are saved. So a tower is where you're a keep. Another name for a tower is a keep. So you go there and you're hiding from the enemy. You're hiding from the enemy. How are you going to fight the enemy if you're hiding from the enemy? So there's a time when the Lord would direct us to hide in him. You know, in seasons of rest, refreshment, you know, revival or whatever. So in other words, there's times when the church is a hospital. And then there's times when the church is an army. This is a time when we are to be an army, brothers and sisters, not a hospital. Here's a great message about getting raptured. Peter walked on the top of the water, the chaos, the sea of nations, the chaos of this world. He's walking across that water to Jesus and he's looking at Jesus, right? We're supposed to be looking for Jesus for the rapture. As soon as he took his eyes off Jesus, and there's a lot of people that contact me all the time that keep talking about what's going on in the world. But what Peter did was he said he started looking at the waves and the storm. He started looking at all the, you know, the signs of the tribulation on earth. He started looking at the aliens and whatever. And he began to sink, brothers and sisters. And the Lord in his love and mercy ran and grabbed Peter when Peter cried out, Lord, help me. The Bible says God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. So I challenge you not to be arrogant about these things. People are only humans. Don't forget that. And so are you without the grace of God to help you. Brothers and sisters, of course, the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. So the opposite of that is displeasing God when you don't believe. These are the hours for these things. And I told you guys, we're going to see a great cataclysm, a sudden cataclysm before the rapture. And I said, well, I don't know what it is. One of these possibilities, and it seems like that's what it's going to be. This great deception is going to continue. Of course, they're trying to start World War III with Russia, China, all these other things. What does the Bible say? Jesus said wars and rumors of wars. You know, it says rumors of wars. And then all this stuff with the alien deception, which going to get worse and worse and worse to you know to to, to uh, the great deception to people that oh you can become a god the aliens are real and that uh you know the traditions of man with the bible is just made up by man those kind of things brothers and sisters so many will fall by the wayside all these things you see going on in the world it's all a deception right think about 2020 it, uh, you know we can't talk about it I, I, they even took down one of my videos about it but we know that if you look microscopically scopically at a face diaper, it looks like a chain link fence. Okay, so things can go through there and everybody knows it. And they said it before in the beginning. Great deception. This will help you. Then the government has other things. Oh, great deception. This is going to be good for you. This is going to help you. So now they're saying they're shooting down these things. And like I said, what all I know and understand about those things, the UFOs, their technology is supposed to be way advanced to us by thousands of years. They can't shoot them down. And in reality, they're in a spiritual dimension that's, and they're manifesting, you know, this shadow into our image. So they're not even really there, there is what they look like. They're actually in a higher dimension and they're shape shifting as the world may call it into this dimension to appear as a UFO or whatever. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all deception, brothers and sisters. And if they could, they just suddenly found out about them. There's been reports of them going around since, at least since 1948, since Roswell. And now suddenly they're going to start shooting them down. Why didn't they shoot them down for the last 50 or 75 years, brothers and sisters? Nothing is by accident. This is all deception, brothers and sisters. It's the timing of these things. You need to be ready for the rapture. And when we see these things increasing, just like two years ago, three years ago, when all this stuff was going on, people sitting around watching the news with the orange man having a press conference every day, actually hyping it up. The opposite of what he should have been doing, making it headlines. The orange man did that. So, like some people say, well, maybe he's, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, like, the, it's like, the, you know, professional wrestling, you know. Everybody's really on the same team. I don't know about all that. But I do know this. 
we got to keep our eyes on Jesus and not looking at the storm. So you imagine when Peter's looking at Jesus, it says, you know, the waves were roaring. And Jesus talks about tribulation. The seas are roaring. So that's pretty loud. The chaos, the sea, the chaos, the sea of nations, the chaos is making lots of noise. You know, it's getting more and more chaos. You know, there'd be no doubt in your heart. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by him. John 14, 6. Jesus also said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. John 3, 3. As we just talked about Peter walking on the water, keep your eyes on Jesus. He's the only hope and the only answer, brothers and sisters. He is the only way. Right now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow darker and darker and darker. And it's time for His people, as the Bible says, to shine as the stars of heaven. The righteous to shine as the stars of heaven, brothers and sisters.